and welcome back to my channel, Single Mom Review. If you would, stop for one second, look down below and click that subscribe word. I would love for you to join my channel. You are especially going to want to be a part of my subscriber family today because I am a part of a 12-channel collab called the Valentine's Dollar Tree Train. Yes, we are jumping abo all aboard again with our conductor, Miss Jackie Russell, who always heads up these wonderful collabs. She is so amazing to work with. I cannot thank her enough for going above and beyond and keeping all 12 of us ladies in line and getting us going on our train. Because we all love it and we're all ready to jump aboard when the next train pulls out. Also, all 12 of us are going to have giveaways. And I will get to my giveaway at the end of this video, so you wanna make sure that you stay tuned for that, because I will have a secret word that you're gonna to have to use down in my comment section. And I would also like for you to rate my haul from the Dollar Tree from one to 10. 10, if you think I did a great job, one, not so much, somewhere in between. And that's just all out of fun, just to see what you thought of the buys that I chose to get on my 10 item Dollar Tree shopping spree. There will be a playlist down below, so you wanna make sure that you go down and click on that playlist and go to all 12 channels because you do have to be publicly subscribed to all 12 of us in order to win any of our giveaways. Also, I do wanna do a huge shout out to Tracy with Tracy and Chloe and Boxing's Beauty and More. She always does all of our imaging and ads and thumbnails for these Dollar Tree collabs and she does a wonderful job too and I know that that takes quite a bit of time and we are so blessed to have her um, give up her time to do that for us. But I do not want to keep you all any longer. I would love for you to see what I chose to get for my 10 items. That is what all of us are doing. We went to the Dollar Tree, we chose 10 items and we are going to share those with you today. So of course, this is the Valentine's Dollar Tree train. So I chose Valentine items and I had a ball shopping for those. Let's get started. All right, the first thing here, I thought this was adorable. This will be going to my classroom, but it is just a little circle saying, Happy Valentine's Day, be mine, love, hugs, XOX, kisses, and just, perfect little sign to hang up in my classroom. It has the glitter on it, I loved that. Just the hearts, I just thought the kids would think this was cute and it would give a little Valentine to my classroom. All right, the next thing I thought was the cutest thing because I love to decorate anything, um, I don't know if it's the baker in me, but anything foodie, uh, holiday-ish, I love that. So this I fell in love with because it is cookies all in the shades, shape of hearts and they are decorated. So they are shaped to look like a sugar cookie. This one says love and then these are decorated and then a so sweet because aren't cookies sweet. And then they're just decorated and it's just a little banner, like a little ball hanging banner. But I thought that was just adorable. So I thought this would also look amazing in my classroom. I thought the kids would get a kick out of this. I have a big bulletin board that I do decorate. So I thought this and this with the heart theme would just be super cute on my bulletin board there. So those two are going to my classroom. And this, I'm probably going to keep at home just because I love this metal looking material. I think it's like an aluminum. I just thought it's adorable. But it has love, it's the little hands there, it has a little bow here, and it's just a little hanging thing. Lots of times I will hang something like this uh, around my fireplace, and I thought this would be, be cute. I just, I love the, the silver metal look of it, so that's just kind of rustic like that. All right, the next thing that I got was I'm so into shelf setters because of course I'm an English teacher, so I have lots of books at school. So I'm always looking to decorate my bookshelves. And so I thought this was just adorable. It is a little shelf sitter. It says, be mine. A little red heart with the glitter on it. So I just thought this was cute. And it just kind of brightens up my room with the holiday theme and then it flows right in with my books. 
Next item is another little shelf setter decor. It look like little books. I thought this was so cute. It says, be mine forever, love all, lots of love. So it just, it looks like little books. The back's just plain. But you set this on your little shelf and wouldn't that just look adorable next to my books and my, I just thought it was so cute. I loved it. I guess you could put it up like this against the wall of a bookshelf also if you wanted to set up the books up like this or you could set the books, I'm gonna keep it like this. But you could do it either way. If you wanted to do a whole shelf of these, that'd be super cute too. But I just thought this was adorable. All right, next item here. This is another shelf setter, but this will be staying at my house. I'm thinking on my fireplace mantle, but it says love lives here and it's in the shape of a little house. And it is just the shelf setter. I love shelf setters. They are so easy to put up and take down. I love these, but I love this saying, love lives here. And I just thought this was, and this was actually something you could leave out longer than Valentine's Day because I mean, love does live here all 30, 365 days of the year. So I really liked that too. All right, next item. This I thought was perfect for my kitchen. I have a window right above my kitchen sink. This says, home is where we are together. And I love the mason jar with that little uh, aluminum antique up there. It is the little shelf setter. I just love these little mason jar accents. All right, next item. Once again, with our shelf setters, <laughs> this one probably will be going to the school. I have to go on again one on one of my bookshelves, but it says loads of love, special delivery, and it is a little truck. So it is a little shelf setter, but I thought it was just cute too. Then I also got this cute little uh, sign to hang. I really thought this was cute. This, I'm, I'm thinking I may take to my classroom. I really, when I first thought, got it, I thought I was gonna put it at home. But the more I thought about it, the saying, follow your heart, um, really makes me think of my students and you know, teaching them to follow their dreams. What, are you, what is your heart, where is your heart leading you? And so I'm still torn, but I think it's gonna go in my classroom. I'm thinking it's gonna go um, at the front of, when you walk in my door, like on my door, or I have a little thing where I hang things right outside my door. I'm thinking it's gonna go there. But I think the kids will like that. And I love the same. And the last thing I got, had to get a snack. And I love Harry Bows. Oh my gosh, they are the best gummies in the world. These are the sweet and sour hearts. And I'm gonna try them. There's red and pink inside. Mm. They are strawberry flavored. Harry bows are amazing. Amazing. That might be my favorite thing. Little recap here. As I showed you, I got this shelf setter, the little book set of book shelf setter. I got the mason jar self setter. I got the little house barn, love lives here, shelf setter. I got the be mine shelf setter. Can you tell I'm a teacher that's decorating her bookshelf? I got the little delivery truck, loads of love special delivery. I got the sign follow your heart. I got the sign aluminum. I got the sign love. I got this little hanging signage banner of sugar cookies that says love and so sweet. And it's a sign of all the hearts. Happy Valentine's Day. And last but not least, my Harry Bows. I'll be eating a few more of those tonight. Real quick, let's go over the giveaway. My giveaway will be a mystery. 
My rules are the same as they always are, except for one exception, but all those rules will be down in my description box. You must be 18 years or older, and this is the one I'm changing. Um, I don't, I'm, I don't want to leave my any subscribers that aren't in the United States. So what I will do is, the giveaway will be a mystery box for anyone that has a United States mailing address. And if you do not have a United States mailing address and you are my winner, you will get a $15 gift card. And if that's the case, the winner and I will talk and see what stores closest to them or if they just want to do an Amazon gift card or what works best for them on the gift card. I don't think postage is more than likely going to change and I don't see me making bukus of money in the near future, but I don't want to continue to leave those subscribers out. So I am going to offer that. If you have a United States mailing address, you will get a mystery box. And if you have a, and if you are not in the United States, then you'll get a $15 gift card if you're my winner. And I just want to start doing that. I've thought about it for quite some time, and that's definitely what I want to start doing. Um, also, YouTube is in no way affiliated with this giveaway. This giveaway will end on February the 11th. And sometime on February the 11th, that evening, I will use a random comment picker. I will pick a winner and then I will come back to this video. I will pin a comment and then I will also reply to the winner's comment. If you get any of these scammers trying to tell you that you're the winner, all you have to do is scroll up, see if there's a pinned comment on this video stating that you're the winner because I'm the only one that can pin a comment, then you know that you're the winner. And then I'll also go to my community tab and I will post the winner there. So multiple ways to try to reach out to you to let you know that you are the winner. You do also have to be subscribed to all 12 channels. So don't forget to go down, click on that playlist and go through and make sure that you're subscribed and watch all their videos and see what they got. Do also make sure that you remember to rate my, rate my haul from one to 10, 10 being great, one being not so great or somewhere in the middle. And then you are gonna need a secret word. And the secret word I want you to use is heart. H-E-R-T. Make sure that you leave that in the sentence down in my description box so that you are eligible to be a part of the giveaway. And I will be talking to y'all again real soon. Bye!